Hey guys, welcome back. Now we're gonna rig this bender. Um, that's a pretty simple rigging tutorial. It's just a robot. Um, we don't need a lot of stuff here. Um, but it's, it's always nice to, to understand the basic of rigging. Um, first of all, uh, I think you need some a new shelf with uh, some new stuff. For example, here I got the free transformation center pivot, delete the history. Um, this one is nice. The the local rotation axis. Um, maybe the join tool, the insert join tool, the I can handle tool. You can always find this stuff around here. Uh, skeleton skin constraint but yeah it is always nice to have uh, here to save time okay let's start go on the from view and with the this tool the insert join that I guess should be around here join tool and start with the leg the first leg maybe just here put one here and click here and if you don't see the joint you may have to select this and here here and here the word to be very accurate because now we're gonna tweak the rotation and the translation Okay. Now ninety minus ninety. Zero. This one you can we can put 19 but it doesn't really matter okay so we have this now we need to rename them uh, this is gonna be left leg 0 1 Left leg zero two left foot this one's gonna be the COG Okay now <coughs> uh, select the left leg zero one and skeleton Oh, maybe the orange join first and the local rotation axis should be transform display local rotation axis with this guy too I think we, sh we could change okay so the z-axis is on this way nice click again to remove this annoying axis uh, select the first one orange joint option no um, mirror join left and right behavior uh, y z mirror nice okay now the torso with the join tool that you always can find here one uh, here 
here and here. Zero. Ninety. Zero. Fine. Now select this one and this one and press P. Okay, now if you see, if I select just this one, everything is, is gonna follow the COG. This one is gonna be the torso. Zero one head join head. Yeah, we can uh, just write torso because we don't have a torso zero two. Okay, now the the arms here here and here zero and zero uh, now the the fingers is always kind of the same procedure you do the bones and then you duplicate in a new mirror. Okay, that's fine. Oh cool. It's already there. Perfect is center. Uh, one other thing is uh you have to make sure in the beginning that your character is in the center of the axis. Now it's, it's kind of look he's uh, decapitated, but it's actually the right spot. So you can mirror the the things. Okay. We have the first finger. Left. Ctrl D to duplicate, press V, put here, Ctrl V, Ctrl D, and press V again. Yeah, they are here. From view, now again V, and align to this one. Select these three fingers, select this one and press P. Look now. Everything is gonna follow. Okay, this one, select this one and P. Now even the arm and the fingers are following the COG. Let's start with the, the naming convention. Left arm zero one. Left arm zero, zero 02, left wrist, let's start with this one, finger one, left,
Ok. Ok. Um, now we just have to check the... Because I think everything is almost done. Everything is done. We just have to mirror the arm. So we just need to check the, the rotation of the joints. So first of all, select the first one and edit. Um, uh, select hierarchy. Select hierarchy. So everything is selected and display transform display lock on rotation axis. So we we see all the axis of every joints. Um, that is not good. Oh yeah, actually it's good. Yeah, the Z must be backward here and the X must be in the line. Uh, this one I did before, but I think it's not, uh, it's not right, so we have to do it again. Um, skeleton, mirror join. No, skeleton, orange join. Oh, no zero rotation, so we have to freeze the transformation. Okay. With this option, is should be good. And now again, skeleton, mirror join. Okay. Apply. Now everything seems, seems okay, again select hierarchy and local rotation axis off um, now we have to create uh, the IK tool I have the shelf here the, the the button here but you can find here IK handle tool here you can choose between two type of IK um, now we need the rotate plane solver because we need the, the ball vector later So see, now we have the elbow with the right, uh, with the right ro rotation. Same thing oh, for the other one. One and one. Let's see if it's working. Yeah. Here and here. is working and here and here nice everything is working so we are ready to bind bender 